Hello! In this short video, we're going to be covering how to insert your logo into your HomeGage report. So you need to start with the image you have of your logo. So you'll navigate to the files on your computer and find that image. I have one right here, and it's kind of large, so what I really need to do is resize it. And all PCs come with a program called Paint, and we'll resize it in that program. So I'm going to right click on the logo and go down to Open With. This will give me some options, and I will select Paint. And it opens up in this simple editor. But the screen might look a little bit different depending on your operating system, but it's pretty much standard um, setup. At the top here, there's an option to resize. We need to resize the image, and we need to resize it in pixels. So you want to change it. If it defaults to percentage, you want to bring it over to pixels. Then we have a horizontal and vertical dimensions. So we want to change the horizontal to maybe 300 or 350. It really depends on your logo and the shape of it. If it's more vertical than it is horizontal, you want, might want to if it's an odd shape, you might want to try it out a different, a few different dimensions, but we're going to change this to 350. And it automatically changes the vertical dimension so that the proportions stay right. And I'm going to click OK. It resized my logo. This grid here is just part of this editor. It's not part of my logo. It won't be there when I look at it on my report. Now, I need to save this file on my computer. I don't want to just save it because I don't want it to override my nice high resolution image, so I want to create a separate one. At the top here, I'll click on File. Then come down to Save As. It gives me some choices. And then I will go to JPEG. It's asking me where I want to save this on my computer. It's defaulting to this particular place in the Home Gauge folder. In references, that's where I like to save it. So that would be documents, home gauge, references. I'm also going to rename it so that I can tell that this is the one that I resized. You can save it anywhere you want on your computer, but I don't advise that you save it on your desktop. Wherever you save it, you want it to be somewhere, it will not be moved. And then I will say OK. Now I'm finished here with my editing. I've put the image somewhere that I can find it. And I'm going to close out of these screens and come back to my software. At the top left corner, I'll click on File and then go down to Printing Options. Everyone probably recognizes the screen. At the top, we have some tabs. We'll click on Logos. And we need this image to be stored in this first position. So basically, I'm telling HomeGage where to look for this image on my computer. So I'll come down here and click in the gray box, and it opens up the folders on my computer. I'll open the Home Gauge folder, and then I will open the References folder because that's where I saved it. And here it is. So now I'm saying, hey, Home Gauge software, look over here because I like this logo. I want it on my report. So we say OK. And I actually already had it in there, so yes, that's fine. And here is my logo, it won't look like that on my report, it's just trying to fit it in this box so I can see that it actually it actually found the logo. And now I'll say OK. At the top of the screen now, I'm going to preview as if I'm just going to preview a report. I know I don't have anything filled out, but I'm just going to click through and have a look. We'll click Print. I know I haven't answered the questions. I've selected Full Report for Upload or Print with Pictures. And when I say OK, at the top of the screen we have the logo. Looks good. And that's pretty much it. So be sure your logo is the right size. Be sure you save it somewhere you won't move it. Follow these steps and you'll get your awesome logo on your fantastic report. And you'll be done. I hope this helps.